here's your forecast first from Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro. Dealing with gusty winds and a little bit of snow over the course of this evening, and it looks like one of those things is going to be winding down, and it's not the winds. Seeing the snow uh, going to be moving on out of the area, that is now starting to diminish. Still kind of hanging on to the lake shores, and it looks like there are still some snow showers back out toward Wapaka right now. The back end of that main band that moved on through just about out of Brown County and through Kiwanee County, stretching from there in a straight line back toward Fond du Lac. So we could see a couple of more scattered snow showers tonight, but it looks like for the most part, we're pretty much done with the snow. It is going to be staying pretty windy, and I would suspect before too long, we're going to see our winds swing around to out of the northwest. That brings in much colder air. So even though right now we're sitting at 22 degrees, we get down to five for your low tomorrow morning, only back up to seven for the afternoon high tomorrow. So very chilly night. Going to keep the severe weather index at moderate, at least for the overnight hours, just because the light snow that we have in place has graded for some slick roads and temperatures are going to be crashing. So we could see some refreezing out there in some spots and then colder for the weekend. As I mentioned, those temperatures crashing down to five as we start the day tomorrow, moving our way into Saturday, a high of only seven and on Sunday, going to be just as cold, basically a temperature of about eight degrees. So not a whole lot of improvement when it comes to that. Right now we're sitting in the 20s through most spots, 22 in Green Bay, 22 in Shawano, 20 in Anago, how about 27 in Wapaka? And with our winds still out of the southwest, our temperatures may yet go up a few more degrees before they start to go back down. I think we'll end up closer to the mid 20s before our temperatures start to drop off. You can see in the Northwoods, winds already starting to shift from the southwest to around to the west and gradually they will start to turn to out of the northwest. And as we zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can see that system just off to our north. It will be swinging its way on through and behind that temperature is much colder. 22 Green Bay, 33 in Minneapolis, but four degrees below zero in Winnipeg. Earlier, the five o'clock newscast, they were up to 16 degrees, so their temperatures have dropped quite a bit just over the past couple hours, colder than they were even this time yesterday. Whereas we're 26 degrees warmer than, they were, than we were 24 hours ago. Minneapolis, a difference of 38 degrees, so much milder air, but it's not sticking around for much longer. Those snow showers are going to move on out. A Blustery day tomorrow, just partly sunny skies overhead looking at our future track. As we move on into Sunday, I think we see a clear start today before clouds uh, thicken up and we see the chance for some widespread light snow through the area. I'm not thinking it's more than another uh, couple of inches added to our snowpack. And again, staying cold. Five degrees for your low tonight. Going to see that snow ending before too long. Seven degrees tomorrow, but very windy. Winds out of the northwest, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Could see gusts over 25 miles per hour. And your extended forecast Sunday, again, a chance for some light snow. A couple of inches, thinking two to four perhaps out of this little clipper that swings on through. But it does usher in some much colder air behind it. Below zero for your high temperatures Monday and Tuesday and a very cold start to Wednesday before I think we finally claw back above zero comparable to what we saw a couple of weeks ago. OK, so can you pinpoint to the minute the time at which our rising temperatures will start to drop? I would say probably around midnight, maybe just a little bit after that. All right, so we'll wake up to the. Yeah. Chill. Oh, yeah, it'll be a cold morning. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Phil. Thanks.